In a hormone known for bodybuilding actually turbocharge your brain? That's right, we're talking about gross hormone as a nootropic. So buckle up as we're getting into this mind-binding concept. Welcome back everyone, I'm Lucy and I'm here to keep Leo's research and memory alive while educating and helping people live better lives. And for those of you who seem to have a hard time understanding this, this video is based on Leo's research after I found some research documents on his laptop. On the description below, you will find a link to that particular document. So before we jump in, click the like button, subscribe and ring the bell because your support is very important and you're not going to want to miss the next videos. Before we leap into the world of growth hormone, let's get a clear picture of what nootropics are. Nootropics, often dubbed as smart drug or cognitive enhancers, are substances that can boost your brain performance. They're like the secret agent of the brain world, enhancing memory, focus, creativity, intelligence, and motivation. Imagine a tool that can fine-tune your brain's performance turning the dial up on your cognitive abilities. That's what nootropic aims to do. But now let's focus about growth hormone. Typically growth hormone is the star of the bodybuilding scene, but it's also stepping into the spotlight as a nootropic. Unlike traditional stimulants that kickstarts your brain with a jolt, growth hormone works more subtly. It's like a master architect working behind the scenes to enhance cognitive function without the buzz and the crash often experienced with stimulants. And it's not about sudden surge of energy, it's about fine-tuning the brain's integrate machinery. So let's begin to see how growth hormone impacts anxiety and depression. And we're not just talking about feelings here, we're going to go into the hardcore science of how this hormone really affects our well-being, which is something that Leo has spoken about in the past. A 2021 study threw lights on a very interesting connection. Children with growth hormone deficiency are more prone to anxiety and depression. It's like their brains are missing a key ingredient in their development recipe, leading to those emotional struggles. Moving on to the adults, it gets a bit trickier. Adults lacking growth hormone don't just feel a little bit down, they exhibit a roller coaster of sympathetic nervous activity and a significant frequency of depression, as I highlighted in a 1999 study. Just imagine if your brain stress response stuck on overdrive, and you will get the picture of how those people feel. But there's some good news. The growth hormone treatment isn't just a quick fix. So according to a 2005 study, it sustainably reduces anxiety over the long haul. So growth hormone treatment boosts the density and the availability of GABA B receptors in the brain as found in a study in 2013. This means it's not just about the hormone itself, but how it changes the brain wiring and chemistry. Now we see that growth hormone is not just playing a critical role of how we grow, but also how we feel and how we cope with stress and emotion. It is a key player in an integrated dance of our mental health. Now let's explore a more critical aspect of our daily life and the number one biohacking tip, sleep. Specifically, we're gonna go into how growth hormone or GH influences sleep, particularly in young adults. Let's begin with a study of 1990 that found that young adults with GH deficiency experience a significant reduction in RN or non-rapid eye movement sleep. This phase of sleep is crucial for physical restoration and memory consolidation. Essentially, without proper GH level, the regenerating deep sleep that we all need really slips away. That was in young adults. Now let's connect the dots to adulthood. A study provided very fascinating insights. One of the key reasons for deteriorating sleep quality as we age is the reduced secretion of GH during sleep. So this hormone doesn't just influence our growth, it's a cornerstone to our sleep architecture. As GH level dips, so does the quality of our sleep impacting everything from our cognitive function to our overall health. You have talked extensively of how sleep affect everything else in life, so I encourage you to go and watch the other videos that he made on the subject. What these studies really underscore is the integrate relationship between growth hormone and sleep. It's not just about the quantity of sleep, but the quality deeply influenced by this vital hormone. As we age, understanding and optimizing GH level could be key to maintaining sleep. So now let's talk about plasticity and neurogenesis. So these are processes that keep our brains adaptable and capable of forming new connections. Today we're going to focus on how growth hormone and its allies play a pivotal roles in these processes. Groundbreaking study of 2021 revealed an exercise sweet spots that can reverse cognitive deficits in aging. This is where GH steps in, enhancing neurogenesis, so the birth of new neurons. 
It's a remarkable insight into how physical activity aided by GH can regenerate our brain's learning capabilities. Let's look at what happens when there is a deficiency in growth hormone. The 2006 studies found that adult lacking GH or IGF-1, the survival rates of newly formed neurons in the brain plummet. So this is particularly evident in the hippocampus, a key area for memory and learning. It's really a stark reminder of how crucial these hormones are for maintaining our brain's vitality. But let's talk about the trio, GH, IGF-1, and growth hormone secretagogue. Secretagogue. According to a 2010 studies, this component connectively enhance brain plasticity and boost neurogenesis. They're not just supportive characters. They are central to keeping our brain adaptable and resilient. What we're seeing here is a very compelling narrative about the power of GH and related factor in keeping our brain agile and capable of growth, even as we age. So it's a testament of the dynamic nature of our brains and the potential for lifelong learning and adaptation. But like everything else in the realm of biology, every intervention, every treatment come with its own set of skills. So let's weigh the benefits and risks associated with growth hormone. So it's all about the balancing act. So on one side, we have the undeniable benefits of GH for the heart and the brain health. It's like a finely tuned sports car. It's enhancing our cognitive function and cardiovascular efficiency. But as with any powerful tool, there is a need for caution. So while GH can be a boon for our brain and heart, there is an ongoing debate about its relationship with cancer. GH can potentially accelerate cellular growth, which is great for recovery and regeneration, but this acceleration might not always be able to discriminate between healthy and malignant cells. So this is truly where thoughtful, informed decision-making comes into play. It's about understanding your personal health landscape, your genetics predisposition, and making choices that align with your long-term health goals. So since we explore GH as a nootropic and regenerator, Let's embrace the complexity of its effect. It's just a reminder of the integrate interplays within our bodies and the importance of nuanced, personalized approach to health. And that brings us to the end of our journey into the world of growth hormone, a substance that's not only a champion in muscle building, but also shows promises as a brain enhancer. It's important to remember that this is at the storefront of scientific exploration and with such powerful tools in our disposal, we must trade wisely. Always seek advice for a medical professional before doing any hormone-related endeavors. Now, I'm eager to hear from you. If you experienced with growth hormone and noticed any cognitive benefits, please leave a comment below and share your own story. This will help boost the channel and keep Leo's legacy going. And together, let's build a community that is all about health, knowledge, and support. Until next time, stay curious and stay well.